A scanning electron microscope is a type of microscope that uses electrons to image a sample. And so instead of, say, a camera, you have light being reflected off of a surface and into a detector like the camera lens. Instead, you're having electrons that are generated and then detected by a detector. To generate these electrons in the first place, typically current, electric current, is passed through a tungsten filament, which is just a thin wire of tungsten. And then the electrons are emitted from the tungsten, focused by different lenses and mirrors onto your sample surface. And then the instrument will scan across the surface with this beam of electrons. And that forms a two-dimensional image. Now this image that is formed is created by the electrons that are emitted from the sample. And what you get is a black and white image of your sample surface, where the lighter regions are regions where you're getting more electrons out of the sample, and the darker regions are regions you're getting less electrons out of the sample. Kind of like, if it's dark, your, your photograph is gonna be darker. More light, brighter, less light, darker. More electrons, brighter, less electrons, darker. You could have more electrons, and that is because it is a heavier element or an atom with even more electrons around it. So if you have carbon and gold next to each other, the carbon is gonna appear darker, while the gold will appear lighter because the gold has more electrons than the carbon. The creation of a thousand forests is one acorn. And Ralph Waldo Emerson said that. <laughs>